All right, let's finish up uh, this ACP exam. The last take here, uh, 5J, it says, which list represents all possible rational zeros of this equation? You might remember this from chapter two. This is the, when we had all those answers where the answers look like plus and minus a number, comma, plus and minus another number, plus and minus another number, so on and so forth. I gave you a saying when we were going through this uh, that I think is just like a memory technique. And for those who grew up in church, you might have heard this saying, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Uh, something I think pretty popular that Jesus said. It's just uh, ultimately teaching people to be humble. But I kind of hijacked the statement for math. And I said, hey, think of it this way. If you're trying to find all possible rational zeros, you take the last coefficient, which in this case I should have circled, negative seven, not that it'll make a big difference, but just to keep our rules the same, last coefficient. And we're gonna, in a second, take the factors of that, but you take the last coefficient and then you take the first coefficient. So these are the numbers I'm working with. And what you do with these is you find the factors of each. So the factors of negative seven would be like a positive one times a negative seven. That would be negative seven or a negative one times a positive seven. Thus, we get these plus and minuses. Now for the number three, the way you multiply and get a three is you'd either multiply positive one times a positive three, or you would multiply a negative one times a negative three. <clears throat> either way, we get plus and minuses every number. So I took take the last coefficient, the first coefficient, last and first, you always do that. You find the factors of each, and then you just divide them out and reduce to get your final solution. So here I would divide one divided by one, plus or minus one divided by plus or minus one, technically, which is one. Since I'll have seven divided by one, plus or minus is on all of those, I'll end up having plus or minus seven, because seven divided by one is seven. And then I'll also have uh, plus or minus ones divided by plus or minus threes one-thirds, and then I'll have the same with seven-thirds, plus and negatives. That's my list right there. So with that, I'll give you your last DOL of the lesson, uh, number five here. List all possible rational zeros of this.